has to look like the skull of a panther or some big cat. played a violin and he rode in a canoe that no freaking way no oh, yes he uh, well, me and three of my acquaintances I guess you would call them uh, we walked into the swamp with, and willingly I guess we were following a we were following a, a, a quest, I guess you would call it. And uh, we found him there and he invited us to his home just across the river in the Kay. And, what uh, the hell? He entreated with us for a time. Uh, there was a well, it was a deal with the devil situation, I guess you would call it. What kind of deal did you make? Howdy. Ah, uh, there. Um. Well, you see, I want to be a writer. I always wanted to be a, a published writer. And no way. He said that I could write the next best novel if I gave him something. I don't remember what I gave him. But he took something from me. And I, 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 don't, I don't know what it was. So I, I haven't been sleeping for fear of he might take something else from me. And I've just been trying to stay busy and working at ranches here and there, and, and now I'm just so tired, I, I don't know what else to do. And where did you say that you saw this man again? This devil? In Le Kay. No way. Listen, I know you can't sleep because you can't remember what you gave him, but... It sounds like from what happened, what's done is done right now. And you can't keep living, looking over your shoulder, afraid when the other shoe's gonna drop. I'm sure it could have been somebody just messing with you. Somebody, there's all sorts of people in the crossing. You should just keep on moving. We only got one life, can't, can't spend it being afraid, right? Uh. I guess, I mean, you had to be there. It wasn't. There were too many things about that day that it wasn't coincidence. It, it just, it couldn't have been coincidence. Or, yeah. um, well, I don't know how else to explain it to you. Like this. Do you care if I grab you a stew real quick? That, that'd be mighty, mighty kind to of you. I'll be right back. Okay. Come on, Hank. Hello. How are you doing, sir? Not too bad. Sounds like you've been put through the ringer, huh? Yeah, it's, it's been a rough couple of days. Hmm. Um, firstly, let me apologize for the eavesdrop, and that's not something I regularly do, but when I heard you talking about your experience, I couldn't help but note some similarities to something I heard yesterday, I think. Um, oh? Yeah, someone was talking about the Devil of Lemoyne. And I didn't really know what to make of it. I thought it was a tall tale, but their description of what they do is identical to what you're describing. The man in the canoe with the fiddle and all that stuff. 
Do, do you know who it was that was talking about it? Um, a lady named Maddie, I believe. Oh, that's not who I was with. It's interesting that she knows about it, though. Well, I, I reckon that people who do that kind of thing just have a way of gaining a reputation and that kind of thing spreads quickly, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess you're right. I, I'd hate to think of the other people who might be missing something, too. I wish I could remember. I wish I could remember what I lost. I can't imagine. Well, from the way you're talking, whatever price you paid. All you're right, not one too poppin', happy. poppin' hot stew coming up. I don't know that it was worth it, sir. I really. Well, I suppose. Oh, thank you, you, miss. I suppose you won't know if it's worth it until you start striving for what you paid for. I guess. I did end up writing it down. What I could remember of that night. Did it help you any at all? No, it just served as a somewhat of a portal into uh, a line of questions and not so many answers. Sounds to me like you found yourself an anchor to the past in writing it down. Maybe. It's in a book somewhere, I think. On my horse. Uh, she holds on to it for me so I don't have to look at it. Hmm. Well, if ever you feel so inclined, I guess what you could do if you wanted to was to revisit that particular tale and write yourself another ending. See if that helps you with any closure or anything like that. That's, that's not a bad idea, actually. Maybe help could... me... Helped me through some tough times, so that's that's just where I'm pulling it from. Mm, sure, that, that makes sense. Well, listen, folks, I appreciate your your time and your care. It it matters. Definitely. Um, we're gonna check out some things. We'll try to. Well, we're gonna look into it. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, do, do be careful. Do, have you? Do you all know Miss Imogen? Blackwell. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, she was there with me. Uh, we were there and two others. Um, she could cor corroborate, I guess. I haven't seen her since, but I've also been just out in the wilderness trying to deal with this for the past couple of days. All right. I've we'll actually. Sorry, I've actually seen Miss Blackwell, I think it was, um, last night we were having some music and song here in the saloon, and, uh, she walked in for a cup of coffee, so, she's been around at least. Oh, of that I'm sure, I, it's just I haven't been. Oh, well, I don't blame you. Um... We'll we'll touch boo. Whoa, shit! Howdy. Sorry. <laughs> no, sorry. You okay? Fuck it out. All right. Well, we're gonna get to work, okay? You take care of yourself, all right? I'm yes, ma'am. Deputy CJ Dollars, and this is my cohort. Let you introduce yourself. Oh, I'm Hank. It's a pleasure. Pleasure to meet you both, Miss CJ nice and Mr. Me. Hank. I'm, I'm Atticus. Atticus Tulliver. Atticus. Atticus. Oh. I'm sorry right. you're in this predicament. We're, we're going to try and help you as best we can. I, I appreciate that very much. All right. All right. Best of luck. Thank you. What was your name, sir? Oh, sorry. I guess I didn't introduce myself, did I? That's kind of... No, that's all uh, right. I'm Pat Riley. It's good to meet you. 
Well, nice to meet you, Mr. Pat. Or would you, Mr. Riley? Or... Either. Whatever serves you serves me just the same. Oh, okay, Mr. Riley. I, I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. What were you, uh, what were you getting up to today? Well, I've just been sort of riding around, letting the winds guide me, I guess, um, after a, a bit of work at the McFarlane Ranch. Figured I'd make my way back here, see what was going on, um, who was around, that kind of thing. Sure, sure. Man, McFarlane Ranch, I, it's a dangerous little place. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's a cat that likes to frequent behind the house. Yep, any time I have to go tend the crops, the first thing I do is shoot through the boxes to see if the cat will come out. Yeah, I, I had a unfortunate uh, meeting with that cat the other night. Uh, it didn't maul you, did it? It did, yeah. Oh, I laid on the ground for nearly an hour before someone found me. Good lord. Yeah, it's... <laughs> When we left the swamp, uh, one of the people we were with didn't take a deal. And as we were leaving, a panther or some form of cat came out of nowhere and mauled him. I can see where this is headed. You think yeah. that a lot of you are now being stalked by cats sent by this devil of Lemoyne. It feels like a curse, sir. It does. Whether you believe in that sort of thing or not, I don't know. I, I never did when I was growing up or, or anything like that. I always thought magic was just like the things you read in fairy tales, you know, with the kings and the wizards. And and yeah. now it's and now it's happened to me. And I, I I don't rightfully know how to believe it, but I can't ignore it. And people say it's just a state of mind, or you just got to keep your head up, or you didn't see what we saw, and and then you didn't smell what we smelled, and and and, and hmm. I don't know, sir. It, it just well, anyways, uh, I've had bad luck in the past with animals now, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm new to the crossing, and I didn't think it was going to... I was, I had hope for something. Now I don't know. Well, then, Mr. Atticus, I suppose in that we are kindred spirits. I'm also relatively new to the crossing. <clears throat> but... You think you're cursed, but let me yeah. offer you a different perspective. You were attacked by that cougar, and an hour later you were found, and here you are today, standing upright. You're able to move and talk and feed yourself and drink and talk about your woes. Yes, sir. I'd, I'd say that's a positive sign. That's somebody watching out for you somewhere. Well, that's... That's a heartwarming sentiment, sir. Well, I I was hoping it would have that effect, especially considering the things you've been wrestling with internally. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I uh, I guess there's always two sides to a coin. And even if one of those coins has been marred and roughed up and scratched uh, and relatively defaced, the other side still remains pure and intact, I guess. Hmm. Well, hopefully you'll have plenty of people to help you see that unmarred side of the coin every now and then. Yeah. Uh, I would imagine that there are just as many good people out here as there are bad. Maybe more. I should hope so. <laughs> yeah. I just don't really understand how we got ourselves into that situation. It just... First there was a book that we found. We just happened upon it. And there was the painting inside the saloon here. Everything pointed to the swamp. I guess naivety, curiosity, and ignorance carried us the rest of the way. It sounds to me like someone was trying to direct people to the swamp. Have you seen the painting? 
Um, I've seen a painting. I don't Evening? know if I've seen the painting. Evening. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's still here. Evening. I like your jacket, sir. Thank you very much. I like your hat. Thank you, sir. That's this painting right here. Um, the top one or the bottom one? Which one am I looking at? Uh, this one here it looks like there's a canoe on a river. Oh, the, yeah, I see. Okay. Let me have a closer look. Yes, sir. Hey, sorry, sorry. sorry. Excuse me. Is there a, a kill for the. Is it, is it in here, the craving? Huh. I'm not sure. Well, I'll be damned. Yeah. Let's go. I did not yeah. think you could jump that high. Uh, Apparently, this that. has been sitting here for a couple months now. Yeah, I suppose it must have been. I've only been here for a little over a week myself, so I can only take people's word for it. Mm. My first time seeing it was on Wednesday, so. But apparently, Miss Imogen had seen it for. Well, she's been here quite some time. She's seen it for a while. That's what led us in this direction. Well, there was the book as well that led us to this, which led us there. Yeah. Well, I hope Law can figure this out, and I hope they can find the person who's doing this. Yeah, me too. I hope they take it into... I, I'm just trying to be helpful. We'll You're fine, opposite. sir. I'll, let me move for you. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. I like your hat. Oh, thank you. It's a curious thing to to hear somebody talk about a legend and then hear about that and see this thing and yeah, it. Uh, well, I didn't believe it even when it started, and then it just was happening, and there was a there was a power in it. It wasn't a power of my own, something that I could grasp, but it was something that felt like it was pulling me. And it kept pulling me. And even though I probably should have looked away, and probably could have looked away, I didn't. And maybe that's a choice I made, or I can't differentiate whether or not it was a power or if it was a choice. I, well, I if, if it was a power and you say that was pulling at you, do you reckon you could pull back? I don't know. We tried. There was... In the book that we read, it told us to sing a song, any tune, to distract ourselves from him. And before we left for the swamp, there were people here. This was Valentine's Day. There were people hanging around the saloon, singing music and singing songs and playing music. And and we heard this woman, and part of the refrain of her song was "Oh, de -oh, de -oh, de -oh. and then there was the response "Ah, de -ah, de -ah, de -ah, or something of that nature. And, hmm. And so myself and Miss Imogen, we would call back to each other in the midst of that meeting, and he would, this devil man would hear it, and he would bounce over. He moved like a shadow, like a marionette without strings, and he would move over and talk to the person that sang and address them and lull them back into his grasp. And then if we had the cognizance to do anything about it, you'd hear, oh, dee, oh, dee, and he'd go right back over, and he got angrier and angrier every time it happened. And we tried fighting back. It just, I guess we gave in. Well, when people get angry, it's its difficult to do something even as simple as singing. Because the angrier they get, the more dangerous they become. So eventually, to stop the danger from rising, you stop doing the thing that's causing the, the anger to yeah. rise up. Yeah. It's a vengeful energy at that point. Because it must have been working. Well, 
I can't attest to that particular part of it, but um, you definitely seem to have had some sort of effect on him doing that singing. Yeah. I don't know. I guess I guess that Miss CJ it was right. Dude. Eventually, I'm just gonna have to grit my teeth and keep moving. Mm. Part of me wants to go and find him and take back whatever he took from me, but I don't know that that's necessarily all too smart. Uh, well, I reckon it's twofold. I reckon it's one, not too smart, and two, a dangerous path to go down. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I can think of that he could have possibly taken from me if I can't remember it, it had to be a memory, right? And, and if he took a memory, what was so precious of mine that he could have taken? And I think it had to have been something about my family back home. Because right, thank think you for hanging them, out. I appreciate you. And the happy things that happened in my childhood, the more those happy memories start to slip away like they didn't have happen. Great one. Uh, it's just, it just seems like it's, I gave him an inch and he started taking the mile. Maybe. So I, I, I feel like it's still pulling at the, the nape of my neck like a, like a string. Just pulling and pulling and pulling these things and I don't know how to stop it. Well, if it was me trying to help you in any way, shape, or form, aside from just telling you to, to write yourself a new ending, I'd say instead of trying to go for that scenario where you grit your teeth and bear it, I would just first and of all let out any and all feelings that I have around it. If it makes me angry, let out the anger, scream or something. And if it made me sad, well, fucking cry an eye out. Sorry, sir. I... <laughs> the look on that man's face. Yeah, he was not too pleased. I do apologize. No. Well, right, he'll get over it. Hmm. Right, but anyway. Um, I don't think that anybody is right for telling you to just, you know, get, get through it, do, go about your day, do what you were doing, all that kind of thing. I think you should feel what you're feeling and let that feeling out, because the longer you sit with it, the stronger it'll get, the more it will fester. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, Mr. Riley. I think you'll find once you're free of the emotion that's currently got you by the neck, then maybe those things you've been trying to claw after will flow back in themselves, and, well, you'll have a better idea of what exactly you lost, and that'll give you some purchase. That'll give you a step forward that you can lead into a, a whole stride. So you're saying, feel what I'm feeling, just let it happen in that respect, and then let it heal uh, as you feel it, and then keep moving. I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I may lack a little bit in what one might call emotional intelligence. That's all right, but yeah, essentially, feel your feelings, let them out. Um, just, if you start to think thoughts that, um, that aren't conducive to your survival, let's say that way, mm. perhaps shirk those particular thoughts, because, uh, well, doesn't nobody want to see you act on those. Yeah, that's, that's probably fair. 
But other than that, if you're angry, you step out into the wilderness and you yell out. And if you feel sad, find yourself a quiet, comfortable spot and let that flow. And, well, if everything's right, then that should let you let go of that aspect of it. Should make it feel a lot less overwhelming. Yeah, I would imagine it would. Uh, I thank you, Mr. Riley. I, I really appreciate your counsel. It, it's going to take some time, I think. But Oh, absolutely. This isn't going to be over tomorrow, so to speak. But, right. um, yeah, just a little bit every day, you'll get there eventually. Yes, sir. I, I would imagine you're right, sir. Why is everything a balloon empty? Everything is a balloon empty. Um, do, do you... Do you think it would be alright if I took your telegram, sir? Sure. Maybe we could... Uh, you know, you said you work at McFarland from time to time, and... Uh, uh, maybe we could do that together sometime. Yeah, we can if you want. Absolutely. Here, um... Why don't we head over to the telegram office and I'll just I'll jot it down there that's actually a better idea <laughs> good afternoon folks good, good afternoon. afternoon good afternoon Well, he was in a hurry. Anyway, what are the odds, though, that we find him talking about an actual encounter with the thing we heard about yesterday? What the hell? My, tele ready. my telegram is XG956. And uh, your first name again, sir? Pat. Last name Riley. R I L E Y. Wonderful. I, I have you here. I just uh, sent you a mine. It should be there momentarily. All right. Let's see how quickly they can switch it into the right box. Atticus. All right. And he is H M seven eight eight. All right, that looks like a quick turnaround. Yeah, I would imagine the teller behind the desk here. He's just looking at us, mighty mighty curious as to why he's passing a letter two feet. But well, you know, gives him a little something to do. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta give everybody a purpose, right? You know? <laughs> if you can, yes. Even if it's so menial as passing a letter two feet to your right. Well, I'd say it's the easiest 50 cents he's ever taken. Uh, probably right. I, I wouldn't doubt that, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, 
What are you, uh, if I'm, uh, I hope I'm not keeping you from anything. No, that's kind of how, <laughs> that's how I've sort of started living in the crossing is, um, I just take my days as they come. I don't try to plan too much. And, I mean, plus, I don't know too many people right now that, uh, that I would have contact with or plans with, so, you know, I can, I can do whatever, whenever for now. <laughs> I completely understand that. That's, uh, luckily, I feel as though my, my connections to the people here are growing, and that's been mighty fine, but I've only been here a handful of times myself, and so I kind of meander and just if someone has the uh, inclination to talk to me then I'll be here you know yeah I get that well should we uh, maybe find some work to do or we can if you want yeah why not alrighty let me go uh, grab old hails and we'll get on the road Where do you come from? Uh, where do you come from before you move into the crossing? Well, I'm not entirely sure which state's borders we were technically under, but uh, it was just my my parents' ranch that I lived at most of my years. Sure. Hence why ranch and may come. You know, uh, or working at McFarland's might be, uh, like home, I guess. Yeah, it is a little touch of home away from home, for sure. It's calmer at McFarland's, oddly enough, but, um, yeah, it's still good to have it. Sure. How about yourself? Where, where do you hail from? Sorry about that. Um, You're fine. I, uh, I'm from Massachusetts. I grew up there and moved out here quite recently. Alrighty, I see. So why'd you leave? Well... I suppose I, uh, I just needed a place of my own, sort of, to, to call home, to feel like I had built it up, you know? Yeah, make a, you know, a name for yourself that wasn't, uh, the name your parents gave you. Something like that. I mean, don't get me wrong, living with my parents was comfortable and, and... It was good enough, but, well, I don't know. I guess part of me just wanted something different, something more, maybe. Sure. And what do you think that more might be? So far, I think more is other people. I know that sounds weird, but... No, I get it. There's a... There's something about it when you find a community or, or you make one that... It uh, bridges a lot of the gaps that we make when we're alone. Yeah. 
almost, uh, I don't know, instinctual, I guess. Like, why, why would they build Rome if it wasn't for people? You know, why would they congregate in Blackwater or Valentine or... <laughs> I, got, I got turned around. That's all right. I think if we want to get philosophical about it, anything that's ever happened in history is ultimately about people. Yeah, that's true. And for me, so far, that sense of belonging, that sense of feeling complete, I've, I've gotten closest to that just um, spending time with folks, you know, singing together, sharing stories together, working together, just doing something positive, creating something together that's bigger than ourselves, however small it may be. Yeah. Hello. Hi there. Seems a lot of folk are today. I'm not sure why that is, but um, it doesn't exactly put me at ease to see it. One of uh, the acquaintances I made recently said that uh, that I, you know, a lot there are going to be a lot of people pushing their pushing their uh, how do I put it pushing their strength around, trying to show a force throughout the crossing lately and uh, I imagine that might be where everybody's hustling and bustling because uh, there's something in the air I guess maybe well as long as that force doesn't roll on to any of us any of the people that I've met down in Blackwater then uh, they can they can roll right along Well, should we take care of the cat problem? Uh, yeah, I think that would be prudent. Oh, pardon me. That's alright. Easy, boy, easy. Hmm. You may want to perch yourself up on one of these roofs. Alright, it's down. Shooting. You too. Nice shooting. Yeah, you as well. Thanks. For a second, I thought this thing was made of iron, but then it finally went down. Yeah, I, th I thought he was going to get. I thought he was going to get away. That's. You know, I was here uh, the other night, and there was one of them back there, and I had taken him and put him on my horse, and someone stole him right off my horse while I was tending to the crops in the backyard. Huh. Yeah, uh, I thought that was curious. Yeah. We got him. Yeah, oh, we got him. <laughs> he got me early. Yeah, he oh. got me the other night. Yeah, real bastard, ain't he? Yeah, he's yeah. a tough one. What's that? 
I like my new horse. I just bought him. I, I do like your horse. Oh, yeah. yeah. The braided tail is nice. Oh, yeah, real nice. Very. Yeah. Mm -hmm. his, his name's Sunset. 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 Like oh, yeah. Very nice. All right, yeah, best catch up with my buddies. Okay. All righty. You right carefully. Is that all, then? Oh, sorry, sir. Didn't mean to get in your way. Looks like Hales has gotten himself stuck in the barrel racing area. There you go. Come on, boy. <laughs> Silly horse. All right, I get you. Yeah, the cat scared you. It's okay. That's my goodness, that's a lot. It's a good chunk of change for sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Man, realistically, it's not a bad list of chores either. Uh, it might take a while, but I imagine it'll be worth it. <laughs> I imagine so. Let's see you what know, we can home, get today. My, my dad ran a butcher shop and. Uh, I remember every now and then I'd help him. I'd, you know, parchment paper wrapping the, you know, cuts of meat and such and cutting the twine for him or whatever the case may be. And I remember thinking, you know, oh, a dollar here or, you know, 10 cents there or whatever it was that he'd give me as a as penance for my, my helping him. Mm -hmm. And then I come out here and, uh, you know, I had never met a hard day's work in my life. I, I've got calluses in places I... Calluses in place. I never thought I'd have calluses, and uh, <laughs> you know, but for $165, looks a whole lot better than just a a few few dimes, you know. Yeah, for sure. It's worth the backbreaking work. Um, mm. Excuse me, Mona. I need to daydream about something. No worries. I'll be ho over there stacking hail. Stacking hate, rather. <laughs> Got hails on the brain. Have a good munch. Nom 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 nom. I might have to take off his coat and put it on the horse now that I think of it. We'll do that on the way back. I hope I'm not uh, missing Blade Runner, because if I am, that is going to be annoying. But I guess there's always VODs, so me. And we'll put our gun away for now. It doesn't need to be on our shoulder. There we go. Come. Okay. 
Nice to be healed up from our injuries. Um, nice to have somebody here who also works at McFarland's every now and then. Mr. Atticus seems like a very troubled man at the minute, but hopefully we can sort of help him whenever whenever he approaches us, really. Calm down, Hales. Settle down, Hales. Maybe we need to pet Hales a bit, make him feel more comfortable. All right, you need some pets, buddy. You know, I feel mighty foolish. I, uh, I wasn't paying attention to the fire I pulled off the wall, and it wanted me to go to Beecher's Hope, and uh, so I, 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 I abandoned that notion, and it'll be another 30 minutes before I can get to work, but I'll, I'll hang out. <laughs> well, actually... Before that, uh, before the cat on your saddle spoils, maybe you want to run a quick run back into town, sell that oh, to the butcher, and then come back? That's a good idea. I'll see you in a little while. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'll be here. Don't you worry. I know, buddy. Calm down. It's okay. It's okay. I know. I know. In a big day today. Yeah. Are we good? Are you okay? Yeah, you're gonna survive? You think? <laughs> it's so dramatic. <laughs> you're very dramatic, yeah. You're lucky I care for you. I'll feed the chickens first. That always takes a 
half an age anyway. Does this count or no? What's happening? Where's my chooks? There they are. Dodo is friend. Hello, welcome back. Very good to have you again. Hope you're doing well. I don't know if you were with us um, during our sec second stream yesterday, but um, we had a bit of a sing-song in the saloon in Blackwater, and there were a lot of conversations had in that same saloon. Um, one of them that's relevant to what's happening currently is that we overheard, well, we didn't overhear, we were told a story about a a devil of Lemoyne, some kind of person in in Lemoyne in the K, um, who's like a memory thief and uh, a fiddler and a I don't know canoeer or whatever. Um, and we just met someone who has met that individual and seems traumatized by the experience. So. That's a whole thing. As for how it's going, I'd say it's going great. It's can't believe the odds of that. Played Minecraft for six hours. Yikes. No wonder you're tired. You started playing in Red in Red Dead Redemption RP? Awesome. Very cool. I hope you're having a good time with it. I hope you haven't shot anybody I know. Alright, we got the chickens fed. 
Um, we still need to shovel ship and shear the sheep. The sheep, not the sheep. Whatever that trail off was, that was odd. Looks like he's back, right? That's another horse. Oh, no, that's a wild horse. What are you doing here, buddy? Cat's home. Where are you? I see him. Okay. No. That's that taken care of. Now we only have the wolves to worry about.
<laughs> a lot of people will stop working at night or during storms, but not me. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Put me to the test, huh? Okay. All right. <laughs> Honestly, I couldn't have timed that better if I tried. Oh shit. That's trouble and it's headed straight for Blackwater. You're safe, Atticus. Just like that, it's quiet again. It's very unsettling, actually. Goodness gracious. Just don't bring wolves in, guys, please. What is that sound? Out of cart? Damn it. Hopefully that's Atticus. No. Nope. 
What is happening? That looks like him. No, that's White Hat. What? Oh no, it's a blue, okay. It is Atticus. Welcome back. Oh, thanks. Are you, you okay? I fucking hate animals. <laughs> <laughs> I had the cougar here. I took it back. I came back this way, a bear scared my horse. I look behind me, there's two wolves chasing me. I shoot one in the head. The other one pulls me off my horse. I kick it to death. And then, I, now I have a wolf on my horse where Jeez. there was once a cougar. I, I see ran that. out of bullets and I kicked him. And I just kept kicking him. And I... <sighs> Jeez. <laughs> All right, why don't you... <laughs> Why don't you come over here and have a sit down? You, you sound like you, you use a good couple breaths. Go on. I fucking hate animals. Yeah, I hear you. I think you could do with a better rifle too. Probably. This was the only one I could afford for a time. And, uh, Oh, I ran around with the exact one for a while. Don't you worry about that. Yeah. Somebody told me that, yeah, you, all you need to survive here is a carbine. You'll do just fine. You'll be, <laughs> you'll be right as rain. You just get yourself a carbine because your little pistol's not going to do nothing. This carbine ain't worth a shit. No, they told me you need a Lancaster repeater because the carbine is ass. Yeah, well. Ah. Take Fuck. a couple of breaths. <laughs> I'll go check if there's another cat hiding up there. All right. Do you have anything to drink with you or something in case you need yeah, that? Yeah, I, I do. I'm all right. All righty. Oh, thank you. Of course. <laughs> Poor man. <laughs> Just can't catch a break. Oh. I feel so bad for him, you know? And there shouldn't be one yet, but... No, we would have for sure heard it by now. No. She's all clear. No additional cats to worry about. Oh, that's that's good. Hales, when are you going to settle? Is that? Are you seeing this cat right here? Cat? You, you not see a cat here? Uh, no, I see one on the back of my horse here. Huh, interesting. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that, I'm sorry, I just... No, that's okay. Must have started to slip off or something, that's okay. Must have. 
Besides, on the back of mine, it's just gonna sit there and rot. True. True. Hails, buddy. Come on. <laughs> he's, he seems to have a mind of his own, doesn't he? He's, uh, he's stubborn as they come. All right. Um, Let's maybe get you hitched up. Come on, boy. No, you don't want that? Okay. Uh, maybe closer to where I'll be actually shearing those sheep in the short bit. Uh, I see a good post there. Okay, hills. Will you please be still over here? Okay. All right, hopefully that settles him down a little bit. He did not like it back there for some reason. Yeah, that's. I wonder why. Yeah, not sure. Might have had something to do with the four riders that blasted past him not too long ago. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Uh, well, before this wolf rots, uh, you, how much work you got left, you think? Um. I don't know, a good 10, 15 minutes worth. Okay, well, uh. I better go take this wolf back, and I'll just meet you back here again. Alrighty, I'll be here. All right. Ride carefully. Uh, yeah, I'll do my best. I'm running low on rifle ammo, so I better. Here, hold on like a second. People try to hand me things that sometimes it takes a while. Oh, thank you. No worries. Uh, that, that should keep me upright. <laughs> I hope so. All right, I'll see you in a minute. See you in a minute. Hopefully that does actually help him. Um, Let's just reload just to be safe. All right. Um... There's a trick to sharing them. It's not 100% guaranteed, but it works quite a good amount of the time. And then, of course, since we've sheared these three, we need to stop and start over. Over top of the hill, I see him. Okay.
If I hadn't been taken hostage the very first day in the crossing, I probably wouldn't be so paranoid about riders coming in. But, we play the hands we are dealt. Sixteen. Jeez. And there's the proof that it doesn't work 100% of the time. Hales seems a lot happier here than where he was. Don't run that way, dang sheep. Gotcha. Come on, get, get, get. Ah. Blah. You dingus, get in here. Blah. Don't do this to me, come on. There you go. Better. Gotcha. Stubborn. Gotta sort of spook them a little bit. Only one more. Okay.
Here come the riders again. That's intimidating. Hear the cat. The cat that's always causing trouble. Can't have it go out to the road. I um, will not be responsible for that. Look at how close that was. That would have pounced someone on the road easily.
Welcome back. He Thank you. He found his way back to us, huh? Sure did. When I first fired a shot at it, it ran towards the road, and, well, normally I let it sit there for a couple seconds until it comes back, but with the amount of traffic we've been getting, I figured I'd better go chase it. Yeah, that's probably the smart, the smart choice. Now, I'm crossing my fingers, hoping that we won't have a wolf incident on the way out, but... I think I'm ready for it this time. If I can, if I can kick in the skull of a wolf, I might be a little tougher than I gave myself credit. I'd say so. I sure can't do that. <laughs> he almost had me. I don't... Did you see the scratches? I was... I saw... Uh, I saw a few tears in your clothes there for a sec, but yeah. No, you got him first. I got it. I really want to try something. Um, let's sure. See. This is going to be a really dumb idea. Those are the most adventurous ones. Besides, it's good for you to, to take a small risk and see how it pans out. Yeah. Stay on my heels real quick. Right on. Careful. Holy smokes. I got him. <laughs> Heck yeah. Look at you go. That was impressive. Uh, thanks. I, I don't know where I thought to do that, but I figured it worth a <laughs> shot, right? I can, I, a wolf, I can rope down a pronghorn. Yep, and you did it too. Holy crap. I am well impressed. Maybe that's now, what I have to get myself up to is some hunting. Maybe. You seem to be a natural at it. Alright, <laughs> let's go deliver our spoils. Heck yeah. I'm glad I got to witness that. <laughs> yeah. If anybody asks, it was the first try, not the second. <laughs> what do you mean, second? Exactly. I don't know <laughs> what you're talking about. Yep. You know, one of the one of these days, I want to go up. Uh, I've been thinking about it for a while now, and I've got some friends who uh, live up in Coulter. I haven't seen them in quite some time, and yesterday I rode out there to spend some time and just see if I could meet up with them. And I don't think they were in the area, but there's elk up there that are just stunning. Hmm. Uh, I think a hunting trip would be kind of fun. Yep, I doubt you'll do the same to them that you did to this guy but <laughs> oh yeah probably not <laughs> i mean if it did happen which might be unlikely but if it did now that'd be something to write a story about true yeah i'm gonna have to try it one of these days oh 100 percent. but just make sure you have somebody there in case it goes really wrong <laughs> yeah that, that's that's probably the smartest thing of the whole the whole idea Incredible. Well, 
I'll give this guy credit. He was a quick little thing, but I think he looked at him. He's fat. I think he was struggling to get away from me. I think so. He might have just had a belly full. Yeah. Poor guy. Oh yeah, I didn't have my knife, that's why I couldn't skin it. I'm a surgeon. <sighs> Let's hope the butcher pays fairly. Yeah, I'd hope so. There's, his pelt's not ruined, so. Well, no, there's no chance of that. If the butcher calls that pelt ruined, I'd call him a charlatan. Well, he might very well be. He might try to jip me out of uh, what I'm what I'm owed. Hmm. I noticed that a pass, pass the, just the few, the cougar, the wolf, there's only like three dollars, and those are big animals. I don't. So we'll see. Yeah. Well, I tend to skin them first and then sell them both the carcass and the skin. Well, does that? Typically fare better. Mm, seems to. I mean, full carcasses you only, usually only get like five to nine. But if you skin them first and then sell the carcass, you might be able to squeeze twelve out. Hmm. Okay, I'll try that with this one. Depending on the animal, of course. Sure. I'm so close to being able to afford a Lancaster. I $20 shy, I think. Well, if you don't make the 12... If you don't make the $20... Uh, I can spot you whatever you're lacking. You don't have to do that. Why not? Helping a fellow in need. Well, that's mighty kind of you, Mr. Riley. Well, absolutely. How are we going to get through this world if we don't help each other? That's true. It ain't with a carbine, that's for damn sure. <laughs> Looks like the place is livening up. That's very good to see. In sync, that's amazing.
eight whole dollars. Wow. Not bad. $12 off the carcass. Wow. Very nice. What a haul. I should be able to afford the Lancaster now. <laughs> Very good. Riley, if you don't mind me asking, uh, how old are you? Oh boy, I love this question, because it always reminds me... <laughs> no, it just makes me feel old, saying it out loud, but I'm 30. 30, okay. I'm, I'm 20. Alright. Yeah, I was just curious is all. Hey, curiosity's good. Curiosity's how you learn. Very fussy today, Hales. I don't know what's up with you. Mom, does, have you fed him anything recently? Yeah, I gave him some apples and such. Oh, okay. Well, shouldn't be that, then. Hmm. Might have the stable people look at him, see if there's anything stuck in the hoof or something. Mm, yeah, maybe he's got a, some sort of a burr and, or something on yeah. his uh, foot. Maybe. I'm not gonna check, that's for sure. Don't want to mess anything up. Yeah, I'd be more afraid of getting kicked. Oh. That's just my luck. Well, I mean, I've been kicked a couple of times. I'm still breathing, so I'm not too worried about that. Hello. People are in a hurry today. Yeah. It's a dusty day today. That too. Do you think they'll take my carbine? They should do. Might not okay. give you as much for it as you spent on it, but I'll give you something. Any little bit counts, I would imagine. Mm-hmm. Four dollars, but I'll take it. Actually, helped out because I was gonna be done broke if I if I wouldn't have.
<laughs> now I do feel like a real cowboy. Look at this. <laughs> what a piece. Yep. Quite the beaut. Might get her spruced up at some point, but for now, it looks just fine. Yeah, I mean, looks like I could put a hole in an elephant with this thing. This thing's huge. <laughs> yep, might fit better than that carbine you were holding. One good shot, put a wolf or a cougar down, no problem. Really? Just one? Depending on where you shoot. Uh, with the cougars, if you aim, well, obviously through the head, or um, just behind their shoulder blade, you'll puncture their lung and it'll die slow. Oh. Yeah, with the cougars, I just fire at will and hope, hope and pray that he doesn't get to me yet. That's fair. But maybe with this thing it won't be so difficult. No, with this thing, if you spook them and you go after them and they turn around, one shot clean between the eyes and it's all over. Oh, that's good. All right. I noticed it held a lot more, too. Its capacity was... That carbine makes for some dangerous work. There's only six inside of it. And it's like... Yeah, you'll You're need missing. more than six to, to take down a wolf with that carbine. But with this... Yeah. I don't know, you could take out a pack of three, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Just got You hungry aim. at all? Could I get you a stew or something? Um... Yeah, I wouldn't say no to that, actually. Alright. If you wanted to... Have the stable guys look at your horse, I'll go grab it. Well, I'll hand Hales off to the stable guys, and uh, I'll walk my way to the saloon. Okay. I'll meet you there. Meet you there. Come on, Hales, let's go see what's wrong with your boy. gonna send them packing and then I'll call for him back later gotta make sure he's gone first wait a couple seconds And then hopefully this should be a calmer horse. Oh, thank you, sir. Good evening. And oh. your friend here? This is my friend, Mr. Riley, yeah. <laughs> A pleasure. There you are, Mr. Riley. Much obliged, thank you. And what was your name, sir? My, um, my name's, uh, Jacob. Jacob Masterson. Well, it's nice to meet you, Jacob. This is a, a fine stew. How's your day been? Uh, day's been fine. Kind of really just started. Uh, just a man in the bar, uh, the Eureka around here. It's a, it's a pretty nice place, but, uh, I probably plan to get to some, uh, fish and hunt later. 
Oh yeah, that sounds like a mighty fine time. I haven't tried fishing yet. That, that might be another thing I look into trying. That's real profitable, especially around here. Oh really? Interesting. The fish monk, the fishmonger stand, because they uh, get you a bit of a better price. You bring in some like uh, some chain pickerel, and they're like thirteen dollars a piece. You're really? kidding. Yeah, no, they're they're worth a pretty penny, honestly. Wow. Even the bluegill, like they bump them from like a two dollar price at like the butcher to like a five to like even sometimes a six dollar for a heavy one. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Mm -hmm. And there's some like a uh, exotic fish that you can catch that are worth about like five hundred dollars each. You're kidding. What? Mm -hmm. There's actually a there's actually a spot right around here that you can kind of try and get one. It's uh, if you go near Thieves Landing and go north a bit up the creek, uh, you should might be able to find a uh, a really big bluegill. What do you think, Mister Riley? You think uh, we should try fishing? <laughs> At some point, most certainly. That sounds like a good idea. I mean, you go from uh, rope and pronghorn. Maybe I could. You think I could catch a fish with a rope? I mean. <laughs> I haven't tried. I don't see why not. I mean, a fishing rod is kind of a rope, right? It's just well, a different kind. Fair. I guess that's fair. Uh, I'm just a little excited, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd hate to see you drown, so maybe not use an actual rope. I rode in a canoe for the first time yesterday, and I almost died. There was a there was a waterfall, so. Oh my God. I think if I I, I am. I am without a doubt one of the clumsiest people in the crossing, I think. There's wolves, there's bears, there's cougars, and then there's me. Tripping <laughs> all over them. I wouldn't say that. When I, uh, a couple, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I went on a uh, canoe trip with some friends. We got like two canoes, there were four of us, and we tried to race them down this, uh, this, uh, creek. And, uh, we didn't realize that there was a bridge block in the way. Oh. So we all close line on the bridge, but we're still in our canoes. So we're just going down real fast, and we're just all hitting our heads on the canoes and oh, flying around no. to go down some falls. I get knocked out. I don't know how everyone else was fine, but oh my it, goodness. it was quite an adventure. <laughs> Sounds like it. Where uh, Whereabouts was this? Uh, give me a moment. If, uh, I believe if you take the uh, the canoe from um, Lake Isabella and ride that down, that's a pretty nice adventure. Just uh, just south of Coulter. So I'd, I'd wear a heavy coat if I were you. Oh, yeah. The, uh, <laughs> the, the waterfall that goes from Coulter, like that drops into Lake Isabella, that's, that's the waterfall I fell on. <laughs> Jeez, it tipped me right over. Uh, that water is freezing cold. I can only imagine. See, you are—you must be one of the luckiest people in the crossing, actually, surviving everything you have. Dang. Yeah, in just a matter of you know, uh, a few weeks, I I've run into all sorts of danger, and uh, uh, maybe, maybe I am. Lucky rather than cursed. Maybe you're right. I mean, from where I'm standing, you look pretty dang lucky to me. Hmm. Never thought of it that way. Hmm. Well, thank you, sir, for the stew and the, the insight on fishing. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to try to learn that here soon. Yeah, that yeah. was wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, if you want my opinion, though, uh, get yourself a tackle box first and fill up on bait. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, worms. I I've tried using like crayfish and bread and cheese and whatever the other stuff they're offering. I it, honestly, I would just get like the, the normal lures, just one of each, and then just fill the rest with worms. That's the only ones that really work, in my opinion. Okay. And they sell worms, or you got to find them. Uh, they sell worms. Uh, to, like. It's it's real cheap, but you can also find them yourself if you're digging for potatoes. Oh, okay. Okay. That's good. And then they sell the tackle boxes. 
Yeah, they're uh they're a little they're kind of pricey, but like you can put your rod, your bait, and yeah, you can put all that in there. Fortunately, you can't put the fish. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's fair. Nice that you can you don't have to carry your rod everywhere. You can kind of collapse it and put it in there. That's nice. That is yeah. very nice. Hmm. Might have to rent a cart or something though to to put all the fish in eventually. Well, if we're trying to make it an industrial profit, then yes, in which, in which case I would say let's do it, because that sounds like a great idea. Well, or if you just take multiple people, you, like... Oh, there's that too. Sure, you could have everybody stinking up their pockets with fish, but you could also just put, put it in a box or something. And there are some folk who do that. The uh, the problem with uh, more people, they'll throw under the rod, is that if uh, all the baits move around, they could... Uh, start all the fish and ruin the uh ruin the catching for other people oh oh i see okay yeah so like i'd say like two to three people in a group but yeah it's real that's a good idea though to put into a box have you found that river fishing or lake fishing is better i prefer river fishing because you can uh, i like the trout and the salmon okay okay yeah. if you uh, excuse me for one moment yes absolutely. Uh, howdy how can i help you howdy uh can I just get a stew please Stew. All right. Uh, the stew of the day is a ven uh, venison and vegetable. Perfect. All right. Give me one second. How's your day going, ma'am? Going all right. How about yourself? My life's doing all right. I like your hat. Thank you. The knee hat. Yeah, that'll be a one dollar, please. Oh, thank you very kindly. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's no problem. Yeah. Oh. Howdy, howdy. Howdy. Um, any of you all seen a birdie white coming here? Birdie white? Um, no, sir. No. Got a description? Uh, she's a medic. she got long blonde hair. Oh, Miss Birdie, I've I've met her before. I haven't seen her today, but I've met her before. All right. No, Very I, nice she, kn she knows I'm waiting for her. I see she's coming to town. Waiting for who to come into town? Birdie. Birdie. Oh, oh sorry. I thought you said a. Uh, I thought you said Peter for a second. Oh no, she knows I'm waiting for her. Oh, okay. There we go. Sorry. Yeah. yeah sorry. Okay. If uh, if I run into her, I'll let her know. Uh, what's your name, All right. sir? Uh, I'm Frank Sachs. I'm a deputy with the Sheriff's Department. Frank Sachs. Sachs. Got it. That's right. All, All right. right. Well, um, well, I'm going to get moving to Strawberry, see if I can catch her. All right. You have a good one. Well, tell if we see her around here, we'll, we'll, we'll tell her you, uh, you went up to Strawberry. All right. Thank you very much. Of course. Have a good one. Anyway, if you, uh, if you guys want my uh, opinion on good fishing spots, I'm willing to give that advice. Well, if you're willing, I mean, I, I know some people are pretty, uh, pretty guarded and about their favorite <sighs> fishing, fishing spots. Uh, I don't really like being too guarded about that because a, I don't go fishing enough to care, and b, I don't like, I don't like being that like keeper of secrets type people because. Oh, okay. I don't know that. Uh, it seems kind of conceited. It does yeah. a little, huh? I, I would, I, you know what? The more I think about it, if people don't share their fishing spots, what's the point? Yeah, like, I mean, like, you know, the, f the fish aren't, aren't going anywhere anytime soon. There's still going to be lots and lots of fish. True. Anyhow. Yeah, true. Maybe yeah. you've seen something like a like a picturesque view that I might never get to see if you don't tell me about your favorite fishing spot. All right. Well, if you want my f first spot, if you want to take a look, uh, do you know where Owengia Dam is? Owengila? Uh, I see. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, right next to Strawberry. Uh, if you go just below the dam, uh, and you go to, to these like waterfalls right before it breaks out into like a bigger area, it uh, it's a really good spot for salmon because that's where they like to group up uh, for spawning. Okay. It should be uh, up on the top part of the dam. Just remember not to shoot any beavers. Don't shoot the beavers. Well, why is that? Uh, it's illegal. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, and if and if anybody from like what PD catches you doing that, they'll like chop off your hands or something like that. Oh. What? Yeah, like rangers will catch you. You'll get a fine if somebody from a PD catches you. They'll probably chop off your hands, especially if you do it up in their territory. Okay, that that's definitely good to know. Um, 
No tip. No beavers. Got it. Yeah, same with uh, same with uh, mo- uh, mooses and uh, is it moose or meat, whatever. I think it's moose. It, it, it's, it's singular and plural is the same. Yeah. And if you, if you ever... go around saying moose and just do it because it's funny, but otherwise don't take yourself too seriously. Right. Um, and if you want my second, uh, another good spot is um, if you look a, li- a little bit east, <laughs> uh, right above roads, there's Ringneck Creek. And in those little pools at the top, there's a lot of bass, a lot of smallmouth bass. And uh, if you, it's a little bit far, but if you can find a, a fishmonger in that area, uh, they sell for pretty good. Uh, anybody else noticing a red spot on Saint Denis? Um, if I remember earlier in the paper, I believe today is the day for a Valentine's Day uh, event, so that might be uh, like oh. a, uh, you know, it's just saying, hey, a lot of people are here. Understood. Understood. Yeah. I just wasn't sure if I like ate a strawberry or something and made a mess on my map or <laughs> you know or the blood from all these wolf attacks. <laughs> yeah, but you know, almost all like big like 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 ponds or rivers when I have got some fish, you might have to sit a minute and just wait and like wait until you can see their uh they're like uh, disturbances in the water, but you can sure. find them just about anywhere. Even in that like little creek up in Big Valley, I was able to find like some minnow or something like that. Okay, okay. very good to and know. Thank you. Yeah. Do you go to the fishmonger to buy things, or do you go to to like a, get a fishing pole and stuff, or where where would you find one of those? Uh, fishmonger does sell it, which is just across the way that way. But okay. uh, you can also buy all the same stuff pretty much at any fishing store, I believe, except for the tackle box. I believe that might be a fishmonger exclusive. Uh, I see. I see. Fair enough. If I'm not mis- if I'm not mistaken. I see. Well, I don't know about you, but I kind of want to go try some fishing. I- I've got a bug. <laughs> yeah, either Olin Gila or uh, another good spot is uh. At the lower Montana uh, River, right where that L is, where those rocks are, it's uh, pretty decent. Sometimes I get some good luck. Sometimes I get some bad luck. But usually you can get some rainbow trout there. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah. How many How many fish you typically, you know, if you were catching them before you'd, you know, turn around and... Head off. Yeah, before uh, before my pockets get too heavy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, usually it's about eight or nine. Eight or nine fish. That's not too bad. It really depends. Like if I catch like a uh, only trout, it's probably gonna be like eight. But if it's like a few bluegill, like a maybe fit ten, it, it depends. Sure, you know different yeah. different weights of the different fish. Yeah, just uh, make sure you're not carrying like any extra like tools, no more pestle, nothing. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, or like your binoculars, because those are surprisingly heavy when you put them in your pocket. What if they were on your belt? Would that be all right? Uh, or does that you, add? That's that's to, that's where you have to put your uh, your fishing rod. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. So either like leave them on your horse, or just put them in your like room before you head out. Sure, makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Other than that, oh. and it, uh, yeah, and also, uh, when you're reeling in, reel in slow, cause uh, you don't want to scare the fish, and it, uh, keep it, keep the rod still, cause you, you know, just a lot of movement. You have to might have to throw your uh, bait back in. Sure, sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. But yeah, good luck to y'all, cause I mean, fishing is real profitable. I'm not gonna lie. That's good to know. Uh, all I've been trying to do is just be helpful at uh, some of the, the ranches around, and that's it's good money, but it's that's a lot of hard work. I may I think fishing might howdy be a little bit more relaxing. Yeah. Oh, Hi there. Howdy. Howdy. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh. No world. I think some jackass is pointing to the sky. Well, uh, I'm not taking any risks. I'm gonna take a peek out this door. Careful. I 
And I don't see anything. I, they might have just ran into the bank. But yeah. Uh, can I get you anything? Um, just a stew and maybe a few minutes of your time. All right. Uh, stew of the day is venison and vegetable, by the way. That sounds good enough for me. I don't see anything, Mr. Riley. Uh, there is someone down at the end of the street, but I think it might be local. Uh, I'm not sure. Hmm. I don't think so. Uh, maybe someone just uh, was playing around and slipped. Yeah, maybe. I don't know whether it'd be more worried about the shot or the lack of reaction from anybody outside of the saloon. Yeah, me too, to be honest with you. I, uh, it's like eerily calm to have heard a shot and no one care about it. Exactly. I'm going to walk over to the fishmonger and take a look. But... I'll walk with you. All right. You doing all right, Pika? You don't look too shaken up. You doing all Looks right, calm as ever. Yeah, like nothing happened. I mean, rather that than have them running around the place. That's true. Uh, she's she's pretty she's pretty tough. Tougher than me when I got here. I had never <laughs> ridden a horse before, and oh, uh, goodness. I was very blessed to see that she was very patient with me. That is very good. That's an interesting choice of artwork. <laughs> yeah, I'm fish within a fish. Mm -hmm. Six dollars for a rod. I don't see a tackle box. Mm, no, actually, I don't see them either. I do see the lures, though. And he said... Worms. Yeah. And just... A uh, uh, river or lake lure. I see. I see. Might check the general store to see if they have a tackle box, perchance. That's not a bad idea. I'll be right oh, back okay. then. And they sell worms in cans of ten. Okay. That's actually not too bad at all. You thinking about going fishing, Mr. Riley? Because, uh, hmm. I've got an itch. Oh, I can feel that same itch, but I'm also uh, trying to stay aware of the time. Ah, I see, I see. Don't want to pass out in the middle of a fishing trip. That would be tragic. True. All right, let's have a snoop around. I swear your guys' list gets longer every day. Yeah, they've got a lot of things to offer. I don't see a tackle box, though. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder if it's specific to the uh, fishmongers closer to the more popular fishing spots or something. Well, I mean, I wonder also if it's not a fishmonger thing, but it might be a uh, a bait shop thing I'm seeing on our maps. There's little hooks that uh, I think would signify a bait shop or some sort of fishing 
outfit. That would make sense. Hmm. So I wonder if that would be more of the source and maybe he just had it backwards. Yeah, that would sound more plausible. What the hell's going on? I'm not too What's sure. That? Oh, we we no. heard a shot earlier. I yeah, know. that's what I was confused. I heard a shot, and then I came around the corner, and then someone had their hands up, and I was like, "Is something going on?" And then I have no idea. Yeah. Well, it's just kind of odd that you hear a shot, and no one seemed to be. There were people in the street still. No one seemed to be, you know, worried or panicking, or it was just like yeah. calm. I'm not sure. Folks down there. Yeah, no, they seem to be calm enough. I don't see any weapons out. Why are they by the bank of all places? Oh. I don't know. It is a weird place to congregate, but then again, I guess it's as good a place as any. Well. It's unsettling, I'll give you that. For sure. I have an idea. Okay. Just casually ride on by. Sure. Was that the idea? Or? I don't know. He just said I have an idea. I'm gonna go check it out. Yeah, that, that uh, was, be careful. That was it. You nailed it. <clears throat> Just going right into the thick of it. Not even just a casual ride by, just right into it. He's either very brave or very stupid. Yeah, I guess. Or maybe he's just that casual that they don't even care. Even though they've seen him standing here. <laughs> I was going to use my binoculars, but then I also hate when people use their binoculars and their binocular on me, so I'm just like, I probably won't do it, because... Yeah, I mean, it's a good way to draw attention to yourself if that's what you're aiming to do. It's true. And just like that, he's in and out. Not the outcome I was expecting. Well, maybe, uh, maybe he'll come back and tell us what he, what kind of happened. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> we okay. can hope. Up to anything today? Anything exciting? Mm, nothing too terribly exciting. I had a bit of a ride around. And then, uh, did some work up at McFarlane Ranch. Took care of the wolves and cougars there, and now we're here. Whoa. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody was playing around with their gun, like I thought, and they they uh, were doing some tricks and didn't unload their their pistol and shot and almost almost shot someone, but oh my, nobody's hurt. Everybody's fine. My gone. goodness. I always unload your gun. Always yep. unload, yeah. No. Yep. There's a guy over there though that they're I think they're questioning him. He uh kinda sounds a uh, high pitched voice, squeaky man, but uh you say uh, his name? No, I, I didn't catch his name, but he kinda talks like this. And uh a few huh. people that can I pay, but I don't know if it's uh, I think it is. It's the it's the guy in the blue shirt, kinda heavy set, blonde, short hair. I don't know if I not who I thought it was. Oh, okay. The guy who talks like that, but his name is Ralph. And uh, he usually, I think he has like reddish hair. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can't My talk name's to Ralph. Either. That's exactly mm -hmm. what he sounds like. <laughs> yeah, but he's like reddish hair. And he, I know his, from what I heard, he runs like a pawn shop down by like Armadillo area out west. But I know oh, he okay. comes up this way sometimes. Yeah, he 
was kind of talking like this, and you know, the guy who was playing with his gun, he was an idiot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the that's the best I can do. <laughs> that was good, entertaining at the very least. Good. What was your name, ma'am? A uh, Sif. S I F Sif. Sif. I'm Atticus. Pleasure. And I'm Pat. Pleasure. It's gonna fucking rain again. It's been raining like literally all week. Yep, hey, yep. I'm tired of it. <clears throat> Me too. I don't know if my boots have ever been dry. Well, ever they have, I'm sure, but not that not. I recall. It's always <laughs> wet around here, man. Hmm. You guys is from the Blackwater area? Uh, well, I, I'm from further east. Than what we'd see on the map, but uh, I got dropped off in Annisburg, and when I first got here, and Blackwater just seems to be where I've stayed. It's just uh, I've met nice people here, so I haven't really left. Same. Right. Oh, yeah. What about you? Um, I usually hang out by roads uh, around there, but I have been kind of traveling around a bunch as of late. I've been Fair like. Enough. Roads to Ansburg to Strawberry, and then I stop here every so often. And then I've been up to Coulter because I haven't never been up to Coulter, and you know, I've been a little bit everywhere. I really like Coulter. It's, it's yeah, it's great until you get attacked by wolves. <laughs> well, any place is great until you get attacked by the wildlife. Yeah, that's true. I can this for the cold. Nope. Wow. Is he good? <laughs> Dang. Oh, this fucking rain. Yeah, of course. This rain hits so much. But yeah. All right, he's walking it off. Yeah, he seemed to be all right. Mm -hmm. I've uh, been prepared with some bandages or some some sort of medical device. Maybe. I wish it would just stop raining. <laughs> A few days, let's just have some nice sunshine. That'd be nice. I don't think we'll get it though. I don't think so. But we can always we can always hope. Oh, a hundred percent. It oh, looks horse. like it might be slowing down. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Sounds like it anyways. Thank goodness for that. I wonder where the nearest bait shop is. Looks like it might be Aurora Basin, maybe. Somewhere around there. Maybe need a post area or something like that. Uh, the guy behind the bar at the saloon said it uh, was profitable to go fishing, and now I have the itch, so I gotta figure it out. Are you usually just hunting stuff, or? Uh, well, no, I mean, I'm usually the one who's being hunted. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, I usually have been working at ranches, just, you know, trying to be helpful around around the crossing. But, uh, by people or by wildlife? A wildlife mostly, yeah. Wolves and mountain lion and uh, a bears, uh, you know, mostly. About to say, who did you piss off? If you uh, been hunted? <laughs> yeah, I haven't. I haven't met enough people. I don't think to be hunted by by man. But but I think God has something out for me because He's been sending all of His het men out from the forest and and I feel uh, that. I've been I the was... one meeting them. I got attacked by two grizzly bears, then two wolves, followed by another three wolves. Uh, and there was like, two, the, there was two wolves, so I took them down. I went, and this was up in Coulter, and then I went to get some stew at the tavern, and then three wolves came into the tavern, 
and then I took down one, and then the other two got me. Then some nice rangers came, helped me up, and then we got attacked by three more wolves after that. And I was like, it really just never ends. And yeah, at that point, I would start to wonder if it ever ends, too. Yeah, and I went back to roads after that, because I was done with it. <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah, not uh, one bit. Well, if it wasn't for Mr. Riley here, he, he told me I should invest in the Lancaster, because I had the little carbine, and I was just slinging BBs at these animals, and it wasn't doing anything. Yeah, I mean, the Lancaster will be something that you can definitely use for that. That's definitely not too bad, but, um... I mean, you know, eventually, like, a bolt action will be good for, like, bears and other stuff like that. Howdy. Oh, sorry. Hello. How y'all doing? Doing alright, how about yourself? Uh, I had to spit in for that kick earlier, but other than that... No apologies to me, I interrupted anything, are we? No, no, no nothing. We're just, just talking about how crazy the wildlife has been lately. It has to be mating season or something. Damn, I feel like I see a snake at fucking 10 feet at this point. Yeah, pretty much, right? Yeah, well, if you, we went up, I was up where uh, Big Valley, we shot one bear, and then right directly behind it was another grizzly bear, so I was like, I don't know what's going on. And then Jesus. Got attacked by what, eight wolves yesterday, and it was like right after the other. And I was like, I don't know what's going on, but this has got to stop. <laughs> uh, well, weather's starting to warm up slowly but surely, so I guess it could be that. Yeah, it could be, could be. Could be. Off. Off. Uh, I never get my way. All right. Well, it was nice meeting you three. Yeah, you too. And you. Oh, is that back on now? Kind of. Take care. Take care. You too. I mean, I would recommend, I mean, a bolt action is a little bit expensive though, but if you want bolts for, like, they're good for wolves and they're good for, like, proper hunting if you really want to. Get something that's gonna take down a bear. All action's gonna do the trick. Hmm. Well, that's definitely next on the list then. X six hundred. You can get them up in Lake Strawberry. All right. Thank you. I appreciate the information. Yeah, of course. It just depends on like what work you're trying to get into and I mean if you definitely if you're doing hunting it's gonna be something for a bigger game it's gonna be good for cougars wolves bears things like that that that's good to know I uh I don't really know what I'm trying to get myself into I know I know I'm trying <laughs> to be a writer I know that that's a thing and uh Miss Imogen runs a uh a, a library out of Blackwell Blackwater and I know I want to help her with that uh, but I think for the for the times where life isn't as busy and I just have time to just explore, I think maybe hunting, fishing, working at the ranches, it all sounds like good ideas, you know? It's not too bad. Not too bad, not too bad. Does she work for the newspaper? Because I know there's a newspaper, but I don't really know anything about who writes it. Nothing like that. No, I believe she's acquaintances with the people, or at least friends with the people who run the newspaper. I think uh, Mr. Coiner was the name she gave me. Um, she runs the Momo Market and uh, the uh, is trying to start a library as well. Huh. I had no idea. What? Is what? I'd really like to... I'm uh, trying Andy, so hard to what? ignore the bucket man. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just... Is that not normal? No. Like no. a knight I've read no. in a book. It's bizarre. It's just... Not something I'm used to seeing here. I mean, in Valentine, you know, weird shit happens in Valentine all the time. So... 
okay. That that confirms it then. Cause yet, see, yesterday somebody was in here saying, "Oh, Valentine Saloon's the greatest." I guess freaking I not. Fucking hate Valentine. <laughs> I'll guess. say right now, I hate Valentine. I hate the mud of Valentine. There's just that you know, that is something you would see in Valentine all the time. Valentine's just a uh, place. I hate Valentine though. I've heard Ours. Valentine's mud be referred to as schmud because it's a mixture of shit and mud. Yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty much. Pretty, pretty accurate. I was involved in that conversation yesterday about talking shit on Howdy. Valentine. Howdy. <laughs> Howdy, uh, y'all got any cream for sale? Uh, not no, me. Uh, uh, no, but is there someone, you know, if I do find any... Who should I should I ask for you or? Yeah, ask for me. Just anywhere. Just say, Bobby's looking for cream. I got cream. Where is he? And they'll tell you. All right. Oh, Bobby. That's right. Yeah, Bobby All right. McDoodle. All right. McDoodle. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like hey. that. Yeah, sure. It rolls off the tongue quite nicely. Damn. I mean, you could put it in an order with Kerrigan Ranch. This. <laughs> Anyone know that the person over there with the, the bucket? Oh, I'm gonna go figure it out. I, I'm, no fear. No oh, uh, good luck with that one. What's going on? Huh, there was luck. a man that just walked by and hit a just a hit a bucket on his head, so it's just I'm kind of. Gonna use the power of deduction and say it's a deputy. Probably. Really? Huh. Yeah, cause I saw Dan Lynn or whatever his name is go in a hotel and then that guy come out. Oh. No. They did yeah, go. They did go down. They did go to the right, down by the. Uh, if you know what the deputies are. Yeah, I'm oh, pretty saying. sure it's Dan Lin. Fucking Dan Lin. I don't think I've ever met the fella. Not a bad guy. Bad guy. The only deputy I've ever kind of deal with. Well, uh, how's a man hmm. wrapped in metal so easily avoidable? Probably went. To, I think he went to the, sh uh, you know, by the sheriff's office. I ran around the block. Probably is in the sheriff's office. It might be a deputy. Oh, okay. Maybe it's a new, uh, some new technology that came from. Um, that I don't know. I don't want to speculate. I feel I don't want to. I, I kind of want to go up to the sheriff's office and then just knock on the door and be like, "Hello, is there anybody with a <laughs> with a bucket on their head?" I mean, there is the Freedom of Information Act. I think that was around. The... Yeah, it should be a law. Maybe. That fella's got a nice deer. Oh, it is a nice deer. All right. Well, it was nice serving y'all. Your bartender is uh, leaving town. All right. Take care, sir. Have a great one. Have a good one. Sorry, that was uh, some dust I got in my ear. Yeah, we get that from time to time. It's okay. All right, so let's go. What, what, what is this? No idea. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's uh, let's go to the sheriff's and just say. Very confusing. It has to be the like just something I expect from Valentine. Just not here. To be honest, I I didn't expect it from anywhere, but to see it here of all places is extra confusing. Uh, Val I just there's no words that can describe Valentine sometimes. Well, I've only ever been there when it's kind of quiet, so I can't say I have too much experience, but um the stories that come out of there are some of the craziest I've heard, so No man with oh, a bucket on his head. Somebody rob you or something? No, I'm just oh, really there was curious just a man a that was head. oddly walking around town with a bucket on their head. 
And, I yeah. see. Okay. No, I have not seen anybody like that. But I was just in the office for a moment. Oh, okay. All right. Well, okay. No, he if there, uh, he was gone. <laughs> if you do see somebody like that and they do something suspicious, if you could let us know over the tip line, that'd be really appreciated. Oh, well, for sure. All right, we'll do. Like, he wasn't causing any trouble. He just, he looked like he was wearing padded armor and a yeah. bucket. It was and just he was ready for. He looked like kind of a uh, a general store uh, knight in shining armor. Someone, you all right there, sir? Yeah, no, I, uh, I haven't seen anything like that. Okay, but fair I'll enough. keep my eyes open. All right, sounds good. Well, you have a good one, Mr. Lynn. Yeah, you take care as well. Uh, mm. Thank you both for, uh, or thank you all three of you for coming and bringing that to our attention. Absolutely. Absolutely. No problem. Yeah, I'll take care. Have a good day. Thank you. Oh, Bobby. Bobby did say that Sam man went into a, his hotel room and then that man came out, so. Mm -hmm. I didn't think it was real. You notice real, how but... greasy his hair was and looked kind of like he was wearing was a. Super sweaty. Yeah. yeah. It was a bit odd, wasn't it? Hmm. You think he's a vigilante? Uh... Hey, he's a. He's a. Works for the. Police to follow. Right, but maybe he's so taking things know. outside the law. Maybe, maybe he is our knight in tin kettle armor. I mean, uh, I'm not it's sure. A hero we don't deserve, <laughs> but he's in the night. I mean, yeah. He does cut good deals, I guess. I'm just he's not on, gonna get involved know. unless it starts to rub me the wrong way. He's not quite the dark knight, but he <laughs> is the budget knight. Sweaty knight. Sweaty knight. Definitely in sweaty. padded armor. And with great He did wear a lot of white. Maybe he was white knighted. With great buckets come great responsibilities. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. That was very respect, interesting. Man. Very interesting. Indeed. But we are kind of standing in the middle of the road, which is also very really interesting. Uh, well, we can get off in the middle of the road. If that really was him, then God help us. Yeah. I bet you he's a real life vigilante. I, I bet. I mean, I, I put a, I put does that mean that it. that means he should have been in Sissico with me when I was there then? Are you a vigilante? <laughs> you're a, wait. Are you a vigilante? I'm not a vigilante. Wow. <laughs> Why do you. Whoa, you sound starstruck all of a sudden. I'm a vigilante. Well, you hear about them, you know, in the stories, you know, they're taking it into their own hands. Robin Hood was a vigilante. Hmm. Everybody loves Robin Hood. Hey, hold on one second. I'll be right back. What is this? <laughs> what is this? I don't, is... Know. I don't think I want to find myself in <sighs> Oh. God, he's amazing. Funny ass guy. How dare you be that funny? Oh, why? Uh, well, there was a lot of reasons why, but I was there for a whole year. It is, it is hell. I do not recommend ever going. Okay. Torture you. They'll. Hold you over an alligator and try to feed you an alligator. What? I'll drown you. It's None of that sounds good. legal. Not legal, but it doesn't matter. Guards there don't care. Well, heck. While people come out and they either worse or hope that they're better, but most of the time they're worse.
Well, that sounds positively off. Recommend ever go in or try avoid it at all costs. Yeah, I don't. I don't have any intentions of being tortured. I feel like I've been tortured enough for one week at least. So. Well, let's just say before one. I went there, I didn't have this scar on my face. So. Well, shoot. I didn't even notice. I'm trying to hat kind of hides it, luckily. For the most part. I'm sorry you went through that. Mm, it's, you know, what it is. They finally caught me. Took them forever. So, that's what it was. Sometimes you can't always outrun things you've done, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So are you, uh, how do I put this delicately? Are you reformed? <laughs> Sorry, that, that, was, reformed. Uh, that, wasn't, that wasn't the right, uh, yeah, anyways. I'm planning on going back anytime soon, but. An outlaw. Dun, dun, dun. I, I don't plan on going back anytime soon, but I wouldn't say that I'm too happy to have gone in the first place. Sure, I'm only teasing. It's all because he found me up in fucking Coulter. Never go to Coulter, and the one time I go to Coulter, I can't, I can't get away. Mm -hmm. okay. One time I go to this second place, there's gotta be a deputy. Like, what? It's like, why are you here? Frozen wasteland, why? Yeah, that does seem rather odd. Yeah. I've only, on my way up to Coulter, and I've only gone up there twice thus far, I've seen one person coming down the mountain. I have never seen anybody going up with me. And then it just so happens I got attacked by wolves one time and laid there in the snow for a few minutes, and someone just so happened to be there uh, to pick me up. So, yeah. But there weren't law. Uh, the per people that were there told me that people that go up to Coulter are the kind of people that don't want to be found. Well, yeah, well, Dan Lee will be up there. When I went up there, he was like, oh, is this Sif? And I was like, yeah. And it was like, what's your last name? And I was like, do I have to tell you? <laughs> like, why do you want to know? And he was like, I'm sure you... You know why I want to know, and I was like, shit. <laughs> Too bad, though. Don't recommend ever going, but... I make a lot of money doing other things, so... Fair enough. What, what kind of things? Make it... Wasting around money doing moonshine, to be honest. Moonshine? Yeah. What's that? Do some shine. Uh, you can go and, like, get, like, some wheat, and you can, like, make some mash, and there's, like, places around the crossing where you can go and distill it into shine. And then oh, it's can, a drink. Mm-hmm, yeah. It's, like, a really, really strong alcohol that's illegal. Oh, but you can sell it. Make pretty good money, probably like. You know, like how uh, with other jobs, you know, like delivery jobs, like you can drop off wood and things like that. Well, you can do the same, but with like crates of, like packages of moonshine. Okay. Like, uh, they even do like five different spots. I'll have like different ones for how many bottles that they want. You make like five hundred dollars and like. Drop offs and a run. It's not too bad. I'm sorry, you said how much? Five hundred dollars. Wow. <laughs> Make a lot Careful of money. Well, I'm just you know I'm, I'm, just... I'm a starving artist, Mr. Hmm. Mr. Riley. I'm a starving artist. Uh -huh. I spent all the money I have on this rifle. Uh just so I don't just die saying, in the woods. Everything comes with a risk, right? <laughs> Regardless of what you do, everything comes with a risk. Sure. The question mm. you have to ask yourself is, is it worth the risk? 
Mm. Someone once told me, what is life without a little risk? I also will tell you that. You do get caught. And, or if you, even if you get away, you could end up in Sisica, so. Mm. I mean, Hardly you could also, you know, that could also be a good story for yourself, too. I mean, I don't know. You know, I'd like to see things from different perspectives, you know. But you could expose the the corruption and the horrors of Sisica on the inside. If you survive it. You survive it. Mm. There's a lot of stories that could be told. Do I need to be an outlaw to write a story? Well, lucky for you, it's Tails, so... I think you'll survive it. Well, likely, Tails is always lucky. At least my opinion. I like Tails better than Ed's. Hmm. I was going to throw out an innuendo, but I'm going to decide not to. And... Uh... <laughs> I mean, you can still make good money doing ranch work and things like that. But... Yeah, it's hard work, though. I'm tired. I mean, if you're tired of shoveling shit, there is other things, but, you know, again, it always comes with a risk. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Maybe if this library thing doesn't work out. But if you're willing to take a risk, you want to take the risk, you can always take my telegram and reach out to me. I might. I might take you up on that. I don't know. At the very least, we could be friends, and I could take your telegram, and we could hang out, go fishing or something. Yeah, I'm always uh, hanging out. I do around most of my most of my friends are in Sisica still. So, do you like ride with like an outfit or something? Or yeah, we have a group of folks, and they're all I like. 2,000 yeah. days or something. They're all in prison? Yeah. I was the only one who didn't get caught, and then I got caught in a bunch of them. Oh. So that kind of things turned out. Right. I see. What about you, sir? What do you like to do? You know, what are your goals? You got any goals, aspirations? I'm a very simple person. I've uh, I pretty much always worked at the ranch of my parents, and since I came here, that's what I've been doing too, just going from ranch to ranch. Um, only recently did I kind of settle on McFarland, since that's close to Blackwater. Um, There's some yeah. good folk there. Absolutely. And well, every now and then I'll go out on a hunt or... Just ride around, looking at the sights and stuff that uh, the crossing has to offer. And I guess here pretty soon I'll have to give that fishing thing a go. Other than that, I just write down things about what I see or what I happen to dream about and try to make it sound a little good for people to read. It's interesting. I'm a bit of a writer my, myself. I, I write some poems and such not very good but... hmm well you know i'm sure there's uh there's enough people out there who would enjoy reading poems maybe maybe you know believe it or not um in the library there's already a couple books for poem like a couple of poem books in the inventory and you write a poem book you know, no one really cares who the, what the, I don't, sorry, I got distracted. Uh, no one really cares, like, the source of the writing, you know, like, sometimes it's the message, right? So, anything you've been through in life doesn't necessarily stop you from telling a beautiful tale. Just like you were saying, you know, the corruption of Sisica, the other side, you know, um, you could write a book. I'm sure that the library would take it and share it with people and they might find you know common ground and uh, you know might might help somebody or or, or something um, that might that might I think about it 
do write a little bit. I have a little journal. I mean, don't have very much. I only have like two poems in there right now, but I'm sure that over time there'll be more and more. Well, if you ever have a collection that you feel like might be something you want to share with people, I'm sure you could contact Miss Blackwell or, or someone for it. Yeah, or uh, yeah. I might be able to put in a word, you know. Well, let's go to the telegram so I can get y'all's you know, telegram. Sure. Sure. Back in. Get down so I don't forget. I'm definitely going to go fishing, Mr. Riley. I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, I reckon you would. I've been fishing. What's that? Never been fishing. Well, you should go get yourself a rod and I'll take you. We'll go. Because I've never been either and we'll figure it out. I mean, it's like six dollars. You got six dollars? Yeah, I do. I work me some money back up. I, I find quite a bit. Yeah, I'll do some ranch work for a little bit, but it's not too bad. Man. All right, who's going first? Mr. Atticus, take it away. Oh, yeah, it's a uh, happy new year, seven, eight, eight. <laughs> oh, that's HN788. And it's uh, Atticus, A T T I C U S, uh, Tulliver, T U L L I V E R. Got that. All right, for you, sir. All right, my telegram is Xenophilic Gopher 956. That's XG956. Xenophilic Gopher. And of all the things. Hey, hey, I've been working on that for a week, okay? <laughs> and oh, the name is you. Pat Riley. Uh, Riley is R I L E Y, and Pat is just P A T, Pat. I got it. All right, y'all ready? Oh, Shoot. Let right, me know when you're ready. It was SIF? Yeah, S I F. Okay, I'm ready. All right, and my telegram number is Easy Kill 328. So EK three two eight. That's kind of badass. I'm not gonna lie. Mm hmm. Got it. Easy kill. Got it. Got it. Got it. Where the hell do I get a fishing rod from? Oh, the fish walker, <laughs> this way. Uh, you thought I was going to start running. No, I mean, I did, yeah. So, what was... There's something about the person in the telegram office right now that I need to know. That's the guy in the... That's the vigilante. That's, our, our, yeah, was, that, was oh, Dan, that was Dan Lynn. Yeah, Mr. Max Sweaty. Yeah, our man in budget armor. Gets me every time. God dang it. <laughs> I was hoping that he was gonna, there was going to be somebody else that it was, you know, going to for. How's it going? Oh, there, hey. sir. 
Down we're still looking for Miss Birdie? Yeah, yeah we just eight. saw a, a man not too long ago. Shiny bucket hat. <laughs> all white clothing running around. So we were kind of just looking for him to see what was going on. All white clothing? Somebody's yeah. going to horse in all white clothing. Huh. All right. What's the reason? Did he cause him trouble? Oh, it was just kind of odd. Yeah, yeah, just a strange just, sight. Was roaming around just strange, so we kind of just wanted to talk to him, you know, really to see what was, what was happening. I want to know right. what kingdom he just hails from. Just out of from. curiosity, you know. Fair enough. You just want to get to know him. Maybe, maybe some other people's ears to talk to. Man, might, you know. I mean, it looked like a, a knight, so I was seeing if there was... Oh. You know, the, the guy right. in the bucket hat. Yeah, it looked like he was like wearing it was like a knight with like armor. So we were just yeah. curious. I want to know what lord or lady he swears field deed to. That'd be interesting <laughs> to know. Maybe he's a Braithwaite knight or a tree knight. Interesting. Well, two fam powerful families in the crossing. All right. Good hat knight. Well, I'll let you go back to protecting the town. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Take Have care, a good one. Take care. Have a good one. The Braithwaite Knight. I'm just going to white knight for somebody. This just keeps getting better and better. This really keeps keeps going. What was the other family name he said? I don't remember. Braithwaite and something else. I don't know. I was laughing too hard. Right here. And it was in the late hours of the evening under the bright light of the moon that the Braithwaite knight in his shining tin armor dismounted his noble steed <laughs> and unsheathed so wants a paper his machete. <sighs> Ready to take on the oh, world. I have to move this newspaper. Hold on. I don't even want to read the newspaper anymore. I'm too upset that when I went to read the newspaper, I got attacked by wolves. So now I'm too upset to read it. That's fair enough. I don't. I don't think I've ever read the newspaper in the crossing before. So. Are you know, we supposed to be getting anything else here. We're we supposed to so go somewhere else to get, get the stuff? fishing pole. You get uh, a lure. I would say uh, a, probably a river lure would be best right now. And then worms are good, huh. apparently. And then uh, I want to go to a bait shop to see if I can find a tackle box. I don't know if I can afford a tackle box, but see how much it is at the very least. So I need to get a, a lure as well here? Yeah, a uh, river lure I think is a good one to try. And then some bait, some worms. How many of these laws do I need? I think just the one. I, I don't know. Yeah, it didn't say we needed multiples, so I'm gonna guess the one. I bought an extra river one just in case. Have enough. Do I need a ban a singular bandage? I could use it. I'm still kind of hurt from that wolf from earlier. Hmm. Are you so you sit over the and then get some worms as well? Yeah. Do you know how many worms I'm gonna need? I bought twenty, but I mean I'm sure you could go get away with ten. I grabbed ten myself. They they come in a pack uh, a tin of ten. Are you coming, Mr. Riley? I thought you had to, you know. Hold on, hold on. Watch Let me, the time. Let me come on us real quick. I will have to pass out here pretty soon, but I may as well get the supplies if I'm going to be fishing anyway at some point. Sure, that's true. That's fair. I got Hills hitched up, so I better not whistle. It'll piss him off. 